After completing our, I think, like, third triple threat game of the day, you guys can see, we are now officially level 40 in NBA 2K21, my team, for the sixth straight season. And this is going to be the video where we finally add our free Dark Matter J.R. Smith to the team. We got a nice little Quantum Pack out of the vault. Cool, cool, cool. Works for me. But yeah, this like last weekend obviously was pretty cool. A lot of good stuff did end up coming out as we get a nice little free diamond pole out of a quantum pack. Could be AD, could be Reggie Theus, could be Bob Sura. And it is going to be number seven, small forward. It's not even from the set. It is going to be Diamond KD. But like I did say, this weekend was pretty cool. You do actually have uh, the pink diamond Jaron Jackson Jr. was That was free. You did actually end up having the... Um, what else actually ended up coming out? I honestly... Oh, the Mellow, the Bosch, all that sort of fun stuff. But mainly, you could officially reach the Dark Matter J.R. Smith. So we're going to go ahead. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take a nice little screenshot. We're going to go ahead and tweet this out. But, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. look. This, this is what we got to do. Every time we got to do this. Ready for this? Watch. This, 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 I always love doing this. The reason why is because people always take this way too seriously. So, uh, I'm going to say first in the world okay we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna say oh my god and we're gonna put a few question marks there we go For, uh, oh my god i spelled it wrong okay well we're just gonna have to go ahead and back that up really okay we're not okay we're, we're struggling now now we're struggling a little bit but we did get this dark matter jr smith you guys can see that we are live on facebook and it's been a pretty good weekend you know what i'm saying we ended up getting another danny fairy you guys can see him right in the middle but let's go ahead and pop this open man always a Bad W to see that beautiful dark matter glow. 150,000 XP done just like that. And you guys can see, man, the, the glow is looking beautiful. The card tweaks out, gets that little like pew, little animation thing. I don't know what kind of noise that was. We're rolling with it though. And we get another free dark matter. This is our second free dark matter of this season. The first one obviously being Mel Daniels, which was an Evo card. Now, again, I'm not even going to bother doing gameplay or anything like that because you guys have already been able to see this sort of gameplay and stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and add him to the team. Now, I don't know. I think Hawaii, just for the for the beauty's sake, has to get thrown to the thrown to the bench because we got to put JR in that starting five. But you guys already know about this JR Smith, man. 43 Hall of Fame badges. 17 gold badges. The reason why I like this card though a lot is he does come with clamps, heart crusher, interceptor, and intimidator. All of that is really good, but he does come with Hall of Fame blinders, and that is a very big deal that I think people still are kind of overlooking being on this card. Blinders, like you can literally say, see, it says becomes unfazed by defenders from the side, and then he does come with Hall of Fame deep threes. That combination right there is one of the most OP things you can use in this game. The reason why is defense is already so broken on next gen that with him having blinders and everything like that, it's just not even like it's just not even fair. This JR is going to be cracked. Now, I will say this, people were giving me a warning in my stream that his jump shot is a little bit slow, and judging by the first jump shot I just took right there. It is a little bit slower than I would have liked. It's still knocked down. He's still going to be pretty fired, you know, and he's still going to be fun to use. But I think the jump shot is a little bit slow. I would have preferred, obviously, the jump shot to not have the hitch in it because I think that's what slows it down a little bit. I think if that hitch wasn't there, you would be able to just kind of release it and it would be, you know, you'd be good to go. So, I mean, other than that, though, the card is pretty fire. I'm definitely excited to use him. He is going to be a great addition to this team. A lot of people are trying to figure out if he is worth it or not. My thing is my post or my, uh, not my post, my front court or back court, excuse me, is now J.R. Smith and Pistol Pete. And I mean, if we're being completely honest here, like that's kind of cheese. Like that is literally like cheesy in itself because it's literally like, <laughs> like literally it's two guys that have Hall of Fame blinders and both of them have Hall of Fame range. So I think I'm going to be able to start letting this three ball fly even more. And it is going to be straight up knocked down and making my life a hell of a lot easier in this game. So I'm definitely excited to use this card. I mean, he's going to be fun to use anyway. So I think he'll be worth the grind. I'm thinking about doing a player series with him, if I'm being completely honest. If that is something that you guys want to see, you know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Let me know down below if you guys do want to see a player series with him. I think they'd be kind of fun because JR being the first Dark Matter reward... It's got some hype around it, and on top of that, it's JR. I mean, JR is always fun to use. I mean, he's always got that knockdown release, and again, he can't play point guard, so we'll actually be able to use him, and, uh, you know, he won't get bodied too, too much. I mean, 
He is like what? Well, I think he's like six five or six six. I, I, he's gonna be fun. He's gonna be fun. And I, again, in a game where it, it's pretty rough, I mean, I, I'm with it. You know what I mean? I'm definitely with it using him and Pistol Pete. He's got the dribble six. He can slam it down. He's gonna have them Showtime dunks and whatnot. He's quick. He can green. Like, there's really. I don't really think there's a weakness to this card, so I'm definitely excited to use him. However, though, like I said, we did also get a pink diamond Jaron Jackson Jr. If you guys don't know, there were the challenges for him as well. I got to scroll through here and find him. Boom, Jaron Jackson Jr., one block, 50 points with Grizzlies players, and then win a game uh, with... 10 Grizzlies or whatever the hell. Uh, but yeah, this Jaron Jackson Jr. is going to be kind of fire as well. Highly recommend you guys get him. Bruce Bowen and Oubre were kind of whatever, but I think this Jaron Jackson Jr. is actually going to come in handy in the future. The reason why it's like a stretch big that actually has a pretty solid release. Four limited this week. I'll show you guys my limited team. Um, I, you guys know I make videos on and I put them on Facebook. If you guys don't know, actually, I make a video on my limited team every single week. I'm going to start doing that every single week. I started last week, so it's going to be last week, this week, and then moving forward. Um, and he was really solid. Like for my limited team, he was actually really solid. He was one of the reasons why we won. Uh, this is the squad that I use right here. The bench um, is actually going to be all Grizzlies players. The reason why it was for Jaron Jackson Jr.'s thing. And then I just left it because I don't ever use my bench anyway in limited. But yeah, this Jaron Jackson Jr. was very solid. So definitely well worth, you know, doing the few games that it takes to get this pink diamond one for free. Um, I've already ran into a few people using him and he's really solid. I mean, you guys can take a look at his badges, catch and shoot, corner on Hall of Fame. He does come with rim protector on Hall of Fame, clamps, heart crusher, interceptor, intimidator, pogo. Does come with deep threes on Hall of Fame, quick first step. Like, I didn't even look at his stats or badges yet. So, yeah, I mean, he's obviously well worth it. 94 mid, 93 three ball, 85 driving dunk. Really good defense with that 95 block and 94 intimid or, uh, interior. Good rebounding, 91 speed even. Like, he's actually, like, really solid. So, definitely one of the cards that I would suggest that you guys go out and use and go out and get. Because, again, he's free. Like, it's not like a card that it takes a whole lot to get anyway. So... Wait, why is it? What? What is that emblem? What? What am I see? What is that emblem? Wait, I'm so confused. What is that emblem? Why does it look like that underneath it? That doesn't even look like that. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. That okay? That is his pink diamond. So why is it showing that? I, I don't know. Very confusing, but you guys can see. I mean, he can move too. Like the thing is, he's he's gonna be pretty quick, and he's gonna be able to get a little glitchy in that paint, and that does matter, especially if you are on next gen. Now, even if you are on current gen, he's gonna be able to green a lot of shots and stuff like that. So he's definitely a big. You guys want to make sure you guys go out and get because he can knock down the three. He gets glitchy in the paint. His defense is on point, and he's fast. And that's literally everything you need in this game. So make sure you guys go ahead and do this. It's not limited to the weekend either. So you have as long as you need to do it. And like, I mean, like literally, it's just it's super easy to do. So I don't want to hear any excuses for a free card that is this good. You literally need to make sure you just do it anyway. Um, there was people that were asking too. You know, I saw throughout the weekend and stuff like that about Jared Culver. If you guys don't know how to get him yet either, he is through the glitched market. So yeah, a lot of stuff that I did miss over the weekend, but we're back. You know what I'm saying? Much love on the where you should be video. You guys went crazy on that video as well. But yeah, just kind of want to make an update video showing you guys. We got JR. We got Jaron Jackson Jr. We're kind of chilling as far as XP now. I'm good to go. Um, I'm still going to be doing this stuff for the week four and five classifieds, you know, the, the limited and stuff like that. Like we're going to definitely cover all this, but I don't need to worry about any of this stuff anymore. Like I have the cards, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them um because yeah we're kind of chilling so who knows maybe i'm sure the next time that i get into the glitched market um i could see it being tyron lou that's something that i've said in the past is going to happen so would i be shocked if that happens to me now absolutely not i, I think that's most likely what's going to happen so if it happens it happens it's whatever but either way thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy it like i said just wanted to kind of catch you guys up show you guys that we did complete the grind for jr um and yeah, squad is looking pretty good. You know, five dark matters, not too bad. I mean, literally this one is free. This one's free. This one took a lot of tokens to get. You know, these are from giveaways. So not, not too bad, not too bad. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.